back, relax, maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hi guys, so I am here today to do a book review, well a graphic novel review, and I am going to be reviewing volume one of Saga, which is by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. And I really, really enjoyed this, so let's get on with the review. Now, as many of you know, this has been floating around Booktube for quite some time, and I have been wanting to get my hands on it for a while, and when I picked it up last week, I thought I would pick it up and put it into my TBR, because it's such a short book, it's only about 140 odd pages I reckon, and I really enjoyed it, I'm so glad that I picked this up, it was amazing. So a lot of people on booktube have raved about this series and said that it's awesome, and I definitely agree. It's about this world where there are two different factions essentially fighting each other. There are the people who are from Planet Landfall, and then there are the Moonies who are from the satellite Wreath, or Wrath and I really enjoyed this and these two different peoples are always fighting each other, they are always in conflict and it's basically affected the whole of the universe. All sorts of different planets have been affected by this fighting that these people are doing and it's just got to a point where all the different races across the universe are picking sides and deciding who they're going to fight for and there is a constant state of war throughout all of these planets. We follow a kind of Romeo and Juliet romance which focuses on Marco and Alana. Marco is from the moon and Alana is from the planet and they basically fall in love with each other against everyone's wishes and they run away together right at the start and have a child which is not really strictly allowed so that's quite an interesting premise straight away. This story was amazing, like the depth of this story considering how short it was was just incredible. I absolutely adored the illustration style, it's really bright and vibrant and all of the different races were so interesting to learn about and see in colourful format because you just felt a lot more connected to them being able to see these people and interact with them on the page. It's told in a very comic book style which I really enjoyed and I love the fact that it was in full colour. As you know I love graphic design, I'm studying it and to see a full colour graphic novel is always really fun for me and I just love the colour schemes in this. Again they were beautiful and I think that the backgrounds of these images a lot of the time they were stunningly gorgeous and it was just so funny. Now I would say that this story is certainly not PG, there is a lot of violence and there is also a lot of sexual content so do not read this if you are a child, you would probably be scarred for life from it because there are definitely some weird and dirty and dark scenes. However I absolutely would recommend this if you love sci-fi, if you love space adventures, if you love an awesome haunting tale because this is told from the point of view of the young baby who they have and it's just such a fun adventure right from the get-go, it's amazingly awesome and fun. I absolutely loved seeing all the different races and all the different planets and all the different places that you can visit. I think that it was really really an engaging story from the start, I didn't put it down, I read it all in one sitting in about 40 minutes so that shows you guys how good it was, I really wasn't intending to read the whole thing but I just had to because it was so awesome and I really enjoyed it. I liked all the different races, Alana was from a winged race and I thought that they were really beautifully drawn, the wings were really gorgeous and then we have the robot race which is really desensitised to human emotion and it doesn't really connect with you which I feel was completely correct for a robot, they didn't need to connect on an emotional level because that was really how their characters would have been. And then we also have Marco's race which is kind of like a ram, um, they were really cool as well, just the design, all of these different people were so interesting and I really loved looking at the different drawing styles. Alana was probably my favourite character in this book, she was a strong determined female, she didn't let anyone get the better of her and she was really entertaining to read about. She was the sort of primal mother who wanted to look after her child and would fight to the death. Marco was a lot softer, he was a lot more bent to her will, wrapped around her little finger, but when it came to confrontation he was a boss and he took them on with absolute 
power and badassery. He was so cool. I really enjoyed all of the fight scenes with him and I just absolutely loved this. I would 100% recommend that you guys pick this up. It's an amazing story. This is only volume one. I know that volume two and three are out and volume four comes out in December so I am hugely excited for them. I have ordered volume two and three so hopefully they will arrive pretty soon. I ordered them straight after finishing this because it was so good. I gave this a five star rating. It was awesome. I'm so glad that I finally joined this fan club of Saga and if you've not read this and you're into graphic novels pick this up because it is one of the best I have ever read for sure and I 100% loved it so I would love to hear what you guys think of this story if you've read it if you like the comics or the volumes then please let me know in the comments below what you think of it and if you're thinking of picking it up then do let me know that as well because I love to hear that you guys are going and buying these things that I convince you to buy even though you shouldn't or you've got no money it's so much fun to be part of this club of reading and just having an awesome time and this is one action-packed graphic novel that I think you should not miss out on so go and buy it and then come back and tell me what you thought of it so yeah Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye! And you're gonna have a little